Die WM 94. The 1994 World Cup. That's the first World Cup I really remember. I watched it with my whole family. They were all mad about football. And as a small boy, I followed it all, of course. Afterwards, I wanted to play football all the time. I played it in the street, I played at school, I played as soon as school was over. And we always played five a side, often, and the losers had to buy us a kebab or a soft drink. And it was always hotly contested, a real tussle. But after the game, we always hugged, and then we were best friends again. It was also very mixed, very international, and that made football really interesting because we noticed that the kids from Africa or South America were more technical, while those from Europe were more the fighters and the runners. I'm Bilal, I'm 35 years old, born in Hamburg, and I grew up in Hamburg too, in the Schanzenviertel. My parents are originally from Tunisia and Morocco. I've been on dialysis for four years, but I knew from about 10 years ago that I was going to need dialysis. By 21, I'd already noticed my performance was no longer what it should be, and my muscles had become a bit weaker. Then I started seeing a doctor regularly. What's wrong with me? I had an ultrasound, and they couldn't find my kidneys. They searched frantically, and it was all very confusing, even for the doctors. Finally, they identified, you only have one partially functioning kidney left. I never thought I'd be hooked up to a machine like that, that my life would depend on it, that I could only carry on living through the machine, so to speak. I didn't fully realize it at the time. To begin with, I didn't have much to do with my friends either, and I stopped playing football because of the catheter. I was too afraid at the beginning. At the time, the doctor gave me videos and leaflets, and I read through them a bit. And of course, I asked what the benefits of hemodialysis are, and what the benefits of peritoneal dialysis are. In the end, I opted for hemodialysis. I didn't start doing it at home right away. For the first three years, they did it at the center. Then there was a new project, a machine from Next Stage, and I thought it looked interesting. And now, I've been doing dialysis at home for a year. I do everything myself at home. So I changed my diet a bit, because I realized I needed to do something. I read up about it. I can't eat foods that contain too much potassium or phosphates or anything salty. I do a lot with chicken, potatoes and rice, stuff like that. I import argon oil with a friend from Morocco and we bottle it here and sell it a bit online or at markets or events. The tree only grows in a specific region in Morocco, which is where my family comes from. That's where I learned about argon oil. The fact that you can decide for yourself whether to do it in the morning or the evening or in the middle of the day, that was very important to me. So I can say, okay, today I'll go training in the morning and hook myself up to the machine this evening, or the other way around. I'll hook up in the morning and go to training this evening. 
That was a good reason for doing the dialysis at home. You shouldn't be timid and say, no, I'm a dialysis patient now. I'm not going to do that right now. As long as you feel that your body can do it, you should do it. Otherwise, you could lose out in some things in life. Of course, there are always complications in the beginning. That's natural with the body, the adjustment phase. You have to make a conscious decision. It's time to make a change. My life is going to be different. Things are no longer the way they used to be. Yes, I found that the hardest part. Now I'm in touch with all my friends again. And the family have come to terms with it, sure. I'm completely open about the fact that I'm a dialysis patient. Sometimes it's such an interesting topic of conversation that you just talk about it. Let's just say the date becomes a little less boring. The more you do dialysis, the more the fear dissipates. Of course, there were days or weeks or months when I said, no more, I don't have the motivation. I just don't feel like it. But you just have to overcome those hurdles if you need dialysis. Actually, I wanted to do another European tour. I need to get that sorted. <laughs> 